Is there more suffering to understand and to know? Has certain information been given for the sake of clashing against what information is preconditioned to come? After the organism has finished its course through its accumulation of information according to its design destiny, what purpose is there to further obtain the information that was learned of the flesh if the human being is transformed from the burdens of the organism and into what is asserted as the spiritual state of being? It is a fact that, what the organism has stored in memories, despite its years of existing in function of that information, when the organism dies, the information dies with it. All go back to the earth and its source is never again recorded as valid for the benefit of the human family. But, what is claimed of what the organism has accumulated through religion, is asserted to lead the spirit of the human being to a better place known as the heavenly state of existence. Has this been validated as a fact? Or, has this been left to be believed and thus, not known in truth? What is the meaning of this? There is a state of powerlessness in belief. An incapacity in belief. An option for insecurity and inadequacy inside a belief system. The inability for any human being who has passed on to return to inform the rest of the human family that, the religions which have been given to the earth are in fact valid, reveals that religion and what it contains remains a source of control without validation of what it claims to exist. What is the fact of doctrine is the reality of illusions which religion gives to the human being's intellect, in regards to its assistance of fear and the gift of imagination. The possibility of being punished for the crimes against existing inside a humanity that no one was given a consent to venture in. Never given any insight to why existence is a reality, and of why the human being was considered a participant to play. The contention that the human being is upon what can be compared to being inside of a state which likens of indentured servitude and is serving the earth of what was obviously created for the rebellious, a time to resolve the matters of the heart and mind, without having the option of knowing of how we failed in the previous state of being without having to suffer the crime of what two human beings committed, and yet, this is asserted as a justice and therefore justification of why the human family struggle this moment in time. Genesis 3 verses 17 to 19. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, cursed is the ground for thy sake, in sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life, thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field, in the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. This speaks of mankind being ordained to suffering under a government economic system because of not executing the mind which the Creator gave him which was to obey according to obedience to his given intelligence but because of heeding to the mind of a woman who has become one with the intellect of Satan, who heeded to the words of the enemy. This is the reason of why so many families are destroyed through the disobedience of the women inside the family structures of this current society. None of what this scripture is implying is saying that man will be free to till the land without being conquered by a government system, as all of which causes the human family to suffer the physical and stress-related effects of working inside of an economic system, designed and established by government powers, given those powers by the human family which cause this upon themselves and therefore, ourselves even within the constant feelings of inadequacy and the burdens of working inside of a system because of the demands of the flesh to survive. The flesh demands, I am hungry and so you must work to feed me. I thirst and so you must work inside of this current system to quench my thirst, and to give me shelter that I may rest and have security for the next day as I demand that you rise for to get back into the fields that I may continue to live. As it is this day and time in 2022 and venturing into 2023, this is the reality. 
the burden of living. The burden has been created through mankind's own rebellion against his own mind and heeding to the intellect of the enemy of mankind, rather male or female. Is this why we have been programmed through this living experience to say to the dearly departed, rest in peace as Dr. Martin Luther King's tombstone reads, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I am free at last. Resting in freedom? Resting does not imply a permanent state of peace. It implies, a time given for peace and a preconditioned state chaos coming. Let's hope that I am terribly wrong. However, why should we have to hope at all? Has the journey been felt to be one of being enslaved? Many this day are beginning to feel that the state of living in this environment has become such a burden and not a blessing, many have thoughts of self-termination for to escape the burdens of living. The homeless are beginning to say to the sheltered, I don't have to be concerned of the things you do. The paying rent and the paying for the lights. I have the earth as my shelter, and the sun for my lights that I may be able to see. I have found ways of finding food through many aspects of what many leave behind in the dumpsters of the society of where many fools take advantage of what they have been given, and throw what is still valuable for me to consume for the body in the trash. As this is the reality, despite an agreement or not in terms of its degree or percentage, this reality exists. This can be resolved the moment we understand how vital compassion is and what it will take to heal this earth. The question is, how many of us are willing to admit that our only enemy is not this government system, but the enemy is ourselves, as many are living inside working of this government system which has for centuries, enslaved their own brothers and sisters. And what created the necessity for this current government system, the laws and the commandments? Obviously is our rebellion against having the intelligence to execute what is right according to righteousness and intelligence given by the divine, and not what was given to those before us who obviously failed humanity as a whole in effect. Where does this play in the involvement in people who assert that they live for the sake of divinity, who in fact involve themselves inside of a government system, which in fact was ordained to function as a punishment to mankind because of his rebellion against the divine as the above scripture implies. Is the human being's participation in this government system another form of an abomination against mankind, as Yeshua implied that his kingdom is not of this world based upon principalities? The conformance of the world governments and the non-conformance of the human being to the will of the Creator? The state of our reality has obviously revealed that very little has changed for the better, as many are seeking to be a part of this government system which has opened become a world system now without secret, as it in the same implication, is offering college courses for many of the youth to take classes for their place inside of this Egyptian. Roman government system which is in truth, Babylonian in intent. There is a vicious cycle of immorality which is present. Written by David Anthony Brayboy.